So what happens with most people, they don't understand that they have a nasal sound. It's on specific <coughs> words. People, a lot of times when you're trying to improve your voice, you're looking in the wrong spot. You want to change the sound. Everything we're doing today, it's all about the physiology. It's all about the science. The problem is when you smile a lot, you actually end up forcing the air up into your nose when you talk. So when you're saying the E's and the ings, you have a more nasal sound. If you open up your jaw while you're doing this and saying the same word singing, and you mentally say, okay, instead of putting it up into my nose, let me bring it under my jaw. You're changing the location, you're changing the thought process of where the air goes. You're able to eliminate that nasally sound. It all really has to do with you just calming down and just stopping for a second. Because really, in terms of speaking and negotiation and everything, there's a lot of little things that really help that aren't that sexy, but really help to make a difference. And the major thing is breathing. Before you walk up on stage, one of the best things, or even a telephone call, any of that stuff, you walk up, you fill up your diaphragm with air. You just take a deep breath. And what happens is I've seen a lot of you guys take a deep breath and your shoulders went up. When you fill up the air in your diaphragm, you don't want to focus on your stomach getting bigger. I know we want our abs to look good, but we want to focus on your stomach because what will happen is your stomach and your back will get bigger, right? And you can instantaneously change your voice. I have to do it all the time because I have a nasally type vibe with my voice and it's not bad, it's not wrong, but what we want to do is add more resonance. And the quickest way you can add resonance is you put your hands right here underneath your, your stomach and then you kind of get to a certain point where you'll like really get that resonance, that pitch. And then you come from that voice. It's an easy way to tune yourself in just a matter of seconds. Because really when you get nervous up on stage, it's really just physiology. It's not really the surroundings. It's just how you feel about what's going on. So what you just have to do is you have to step back and just have tips and you have to have strategies on how to combat it. And, and the thing about it is nasally sound isn't bad. I mean, that's your unique voice. But the key thing about it is you want to make sure that it has that resonance, it has that pitch, so that it's like, okay, if that's the way you know you can control it as much as you want. You ever do something and uh, you make a mistake and then you're saying to yourself like, why do I sound so guilty? Because it's your physiology takes over what you're projecting on the outside. So that's why it's important to prepare, 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 because no matter how you're feeling, whether you say it or not, you're projecting that out to everyone. So the best thing you can do is just be relaxed and then come from that state.